tour type of thing. Do you see yourself, first of all, as a singer or an actress? I see myself first as a mom. Yeah, but as that's a mom. now. I bet you've got a little daughter, Sophie. I do. Beautiful little child. And is it, don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington? Well, she does like to dress up. <laughs> and she does like to, um, you know, hair and makeup. She yeah. loves all that. Would you like to hear our wig song? Yes, please. Okay. I'm not wearing a wig. But, um, when I was wearing wigs, when you, you know, when I do pictures, sometimes I have to wear a wig. And we, we made up a song when she was very young called The Wig Song. And it goes like this. Oh, you got to wear a wig, 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 if you want to be famous. You got to wear a wig, wiggity, wig, 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 if you want to be smart. Because a wig will hide the worst of all your features. Yes, a wig will really help you play the part. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's our life together. We've yes. got to go back to the beginning. When you started um, off, were you a singer? Uh, no, I was, an, I was always an actress. Actually, right. I, was, I wanted to be a, 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 um, you know, a, a great tragedian. Mm. I thought I had that in me. I thought that I could, that I felt, that I could feel other people's pain, that I could project it uh, beyond the footlights. Um, I took to singing because it was the only way I could really get work. Yeah. Yeah. So your first film was The Rose, which of yes. course was a chance to put all this pain across, because mm -hmm. it was the story of... It was painful. It was a painful story. <laughs> say, we, the, the log line of the picture was she gave and gave and gave till no... Uh, she gave and gave and gave till she couldn't give anymore. And we used to say she gave and gave and gave till nobody gave a shit. <laughs> <laughs> her kill. She was a great character though. I was terribly sorry that she passed away. Yeah. She, she could have been a franchise. <laughs> like, like Rocky or one of those guys. Do you think Beaches is a real, a real weepy? Do you think that you're showing a kind of softer side of you? I guess it was always there, but you're just... Well, I like that piece of material was written for me. Iris sat down, and I guess she must have read some old articles about me. And she said, I'm going to write a book. And she wrote this book that was basically, was used a lot, she used a lot of my own life in that book. And I said, Iris, you know, this isn't really fair. I was surprised at how well it did. I thought it got mixed reviews, but the, the audiences really Adored. loved it. It's... They loved it because it talked about uh, things that hadn't been addressed before. And uh, it had a real strong friendship at the core of it. And I guess it is kind of weepy, but what's wrong with that? No, exactly. I, I, I don't... This is the first movie you made with your production company. All that was the first one. Yeah. Tell me about that company. Well, I started a company with, my, with two other girlfriends of mine after, uh, I think, Ruthless People. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was down and out. The, the scripts weren't coming in, and we had wanted to be in business with them, but we weren't sure that they were going to, what kind of material they were going to give us. Their, uh, their strategy was sort of formulaic comedies. Mm. And we wanted to make sure that there was a, a broader spectrum of material than just that kind of thing. So while they were giving me the broad comedies, we were developing a more, you know, more mature themes, what we thought were mature themes. So they were probably really pissant themes, but we <laughs> thought they were mature. <laughs> um, We'd, and the one we just finished was a big, big undertaking for us. And I think it's, I thought it was, I thought it was good. It was a huge picture, big budget, huge cast, you know, big period piece with big musical numbers, and nobody thought we could pull it off, and we did. And so uh, we're, we, they gave us a shot, and we, we've proven ourselves. It's terrific. Yeah. The, um, the soundtrack of Beach is so millions. What was your favorite number from the... Otto Titzling, undoubtedly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually... Um, did you write Otto Titzling? I wrote, I did. I wrote it with a, cu with a couple of friends. Three other friends, in fact. There's like four people on a song. And I like it because it's funny. I, so this girl came to me. She was an AA. And she was hilarious. I thought she was just great. She told me this was a true story, and I believed her. And then after the picture was, after the soundtrack came out, this guy wrote, called, wrote me a letter and said, I made that story up. And you owe me money. <laughs> I was so shocked because I hadn't checked out my source. But it's a funny song. It's I like the songs song. that, that make people laugh. Will you sing us? Will you sing us out of the show tonight? Shall I song? sing the biggest song of my career? Will for you, you do, darling? That? Well, why not? <laughs>